Hey everyone, for today's vlog, I just wanted to take you over to look at this pretty right here. I'm finished decorating her. Did you see the vlog where we looked for her and we put her up and we trimmed the tree with the boys? I will link that below if you missed it, but I have since then added a few more touches. But most importantly, the thing I love on our tree are the ornaments, and I love the ones that have a special meaning to us. So I thought it might be fun to go over and take a look-see at the tree. I'm gonna show you some of my most favorites and tell you why they're special to me. Okay, here's our tree in all her glory. If you wanna see a little video of us picking out our tree and decorating it, I have that on our YouTube page as well as the blog. But you can tell from here, our theme is red and uh, red and white. I almost said red and green, no, red and white. I love snowflakes, so I've included some of those as well. I'm gonna to try to keep this little like walk down ornament memory lane to the point and quick, because this is my fifth time doing this and I just keep getting so chatty because I love all the ornaments. But basically my idea is to someday have our tree just dripping in meaningful moments and photos. And I just started working on that idea probably two years ago. So we still have a lot of, I wanted to just, I didn't want to feel like I had to do it all at that moment. I wanted it to be something we could grow into. So I got rid of a lot of the ornaments that did not have sentimental value to us and left room for the things that did. So. I have a few on here that do have a sentimental value to us, but I don't have a ton. Um, so I'll, I'll just kind of like walk you through really quick and show you some of my most favorite ones and try really hard to not get too chatty. Okay, the top of my list has to be the baby's first Christmas ornaments. I remember picking out the ornaments for each boy, how long I looked, all the love I put into it. I wanted them to have just the perfect ornament. I still have my baby's first Christmas ornament. Mom, are you watching? My mom has it. I want it so bad so I could put it on our tree. But Weston's is from Hallmark. It's just a little rattle with a snowflake in it, which actually worked out perfectly with our tree, all the snowflakes. And then Carson's, I love Carson's as well. It's a little reindeer, Rudolph, was a little red nose. Nose. His is Linux. And then some of my most favorite ornaments that we have are these that I picked up from an Etsy vendor. Y'all, I cannot say enough good things about these ornaments. I've talked about them many a time before. The quality, the thought and idea that goes behind these ornaments. If you were to repurchase anything on my tree that you see, if you wanted to get something, I can't tell you enough about how awesome these ornaments are. So um, I found these via Etsy because I was looking for a gift for a friend. I wanted to order her an ornament to kind of like remember her dog that had passed away so that whenever they decorate their Christmas tree, Hi, I figured I should talk to you instead of like talking to you through the camera. Anyways, my, my friend's dog passed away and I wanted to do something nice so that whenever they decorated for, the, for Christmas that Bailey, their pup, was there with them and they would have these memories to pull out year after year. I found them, those ornaments, they were perfect. I ordered a set for my friend. I was so in awe with how awesome they were. I turned right back and had to order two sets for myself. So my, I haven't done it for Carson yet. I really wanna have a set for each boy. Um, so I need to get on that. But basically, the lady that makes these, she goes to her property and she gets wood that's already been cut down and she covers it and seals it in this shiny material. I don't know what it is. It's like a coating of some sort. And then you email her the pictures. She makes them fit into the little frames or the little pieces of wood and she seals it with this can you see like the dome glass? She drills a hole in the piece of wood and then sends it with a um, a ribbon. Oh my gosh, these ornaments are so special. To me, there's some. There, I hate saying they're the, they're more fate that I love them more than the baby's first Christmas ornaments because those are pretty special. But I just love these so much. Oh, and they're all over the tree. I better order uh, Carson a set quick before he realizes he doesn't have one. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do every year is to kind of find something cool and different to uh, document our family for that year in ornament form. This is what I found this year. Again, I ordered one as a gift for somebody, a thank you gift. I loved it so much, I had to have one for us too. Um, I've talked about this on the blog before. I have a coupon code for, I'd say they're 20% or 15% off on the blog if you wanna take a look for that. But it's from an Etsy store called Lux and Trip. You just send her a picture and she does like a little abstract type drawing of your family on this piece of wood and something else I love about this which I mentioned on the blog as well is that it's super light so if you have a uh, fresh tree you don't have to worry about the placement of it because it's not gonna you don't need like a really sturdy branch to uh, hang it because it's really light which you wouldn't think it would be with a really big wooden ornament like this but it is and I love how so my husband is Chinese his skin tones obviously different than mine and I love how she kind of showed that here and then my boys skin tone matches my husband's a little bit more and Brady our pup 
he has one spot over his eye that is bigger and small one that is smaller than the other one so she even did that right here which I think that's pretty cute Something else that's really special on our tree is this little pretty right here. This was sent to us by one of our subscribers. She is so sweet and saw this and thought of us and she's so right because I love this ornament so much. So thank you so much, Andrea. She also sent us this really pretty glittery H because our last name is Huey. Let's see what else I can show you guys. Oh, something else we do, we have pictures with Santa every year, and I put one of those pictures of the boys with Santa on the tree. So this is Carson's first Santa. This is Weston and Carson last year. You have to go to the blog post and see this, the full version of this picture, as well as the video. I have a live video of this. It is hilarious. Santa torture at its finest. And this one, I love this one right here. <laughs> Oh man. Something else I love about our tree is our tree skirt. This is actually a quilt. It's one of my most favorite things. If there was a fire in our house, I would try to grab this pretty if I could. It, we use it in our home decor. We've used it in pictures before. But when um, the holidays come around, I love that I can use it as our tree skirt and it kind of just pulls everything together. It pulls in our home decor, how I wrap my gifts, the tree itself, like it just all kind of works together nicely. This year um, was the first year we let the boys pick out Christmas ornaments. I was 100% sure that Weston was going to get Superman. I'm kind of glad that he didn't because look at how cute this mater is. Isn't he so cute? With his big lumberjack, whatever kind of hat that's called on. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. I don't know it, but it's cute. And Carson picked out Nemo. He doesn't really know who Nemo is, but he does love little fishies right now. And this is what he gravitated towards first. So they both got to hang their ornament on the tree. If you want to watch that in the vlog, it's pretty cute. And we have this one of Brady. I love this ornament so much. I don't know why. I just think it just makes me happy. It looks so much like Brady with his little spot over his eye and his big black ears. And the boys love looking at this one. So I put this one down low so they can enjoy it. I haven't done a very good job of this and I need to work on that. But I want to start collecting ornaments from places that we travel. This year we went to Alaska. So I picked this up during our trip to Alaska. But I feel kind of cheated because we went to Seattle and Canada and um, Arkansas and Colorado and we've been so many places, especially last year, and I didn't get any ornaments. Is that cheating if I go online and order one from the places but I didn't actually purchase it there? I don't know. You know, it's probably not made there anyways, right? Okay, so there she is. Y'all, this was really hard because I was getting real chitty chitty chatty of stories and all. You just don't need to hear all that because you got things to do. So hopefully this all comes together well. It's not as chatty as what it was in the other ones and you make it to the end. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Stay tuned. We have more holiday videos coming. We have a couple vlogs that have been posted. Now this one and a gingerbread house decorating one too, which may already be up on the blog. If not, it'll be coming soon. So I will see more of you guys this month and spread a little love and lightness out into the world during this beautiful holiday season. Bye!